So we, in this video, we will talk about the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum, as we said, it connects the right and left uh, hemispheres. So uh, this is the left hemisphere. This is the anterior. This is its posterior. So when we talk about it, the corpus callosum has four parts. In this corpus callosum, this part is the rostrum. It's conical in shape. This is the rostrum. This part, the most anterior, this is known as the genu. This here is the body. This is the body. And this last part is the splenium. So, the rostrum, the genu, the body, and the splenium. And here below, we have this uh, sheet, which is known as the septum pellucidum. This is the septum pellucidum. It's located inferior to the Corpus callosa. Now we will go to transverse sections. This is an upper uh, transverse section. So here we will see this. This is uh, anterior. This is posterior. Anterior, posterior. So this is the genu of the corpus callosa. This is the splenium. This uh, here is the uh, septum pellucidum. This is the septum pellucidum. This is this is the genu. This is the splenium. Emerging from this genu is this, which is, uh, these fibers, which are known as the forceps minor. These are the forceps minor, and as uh, radiating from this uh, splenium, we have the forceps major. These are the forceps major. Now, if we go to a deeper section, we will see this. This is uh, a lower section. As we said, this is uh, anterior, this is posterior. So this was the genu, this was the splenium, this was the forceps minor, and this was the forceps major. And uh, also in this video, uh, we said this was the genu of the corpus callosa. This is the genu of the uh, internal capsule. Also in this video, to note is this: these are the thalami, the right thalamus and the left thalamus. As we said, this is the internal capsule, and this was the external capsule. So the internal capsule, uh, when it goes up, uh, it divides uh, into a radiation, which is known as the corona radiator. So this is the corona radiator, which are projection fibers. This is the fornix. This is body of the fornix. This projection is body of the fornix. And then it bifids uh, to this. This is the crust of fornix. This is crust. This is also the crust. Crust of the fornix. Okay. Between them is this triangular structure. This triangular structure is the commissure. Commissure of the fornix. Or the hippocampal commissure. Now, uh, because it, can, it is known as the hippocampal commissure, so it connects the uh, right and left hippocampi. This is the hippocampus. This structure is the hippocampus. This is also the hippocampus. Okay? So this culture, it connects both, both of them. This is the pineal gland. This. This is the pineal stalk. So above it, we have the habenular commissure. And below it here, we have the posterior commissure. And lastly, this is the optic chiasma. So this here is the lamina terminalis. And here, this part is the anterior commissure.